hey, Corpsey, oh, hey, and it's Corpsey. We are at this wild party, and I ran into the star of like every movie that I love, and half of them I've been in, Victoria DeMar. How are you, Victoria? I'm better now. How are you, Corpsey? She's better now because she's had a couple. What have you been drinking tonight? Bellinis. I thought a Bellini was like a pancake with uh, caviar on it. Maybe not. I think that's a different kind of Bellini. The Bellini I'm having tonight is a peach juice and champagne. Wow. So are you like totally ripped at this point? No, but I'm feeling good. I'm only on Bellini number two. All right. Now, you're the only actress that's been in all three of the prison movies. That's correct. You were first in Werewolf in a Woman's Prison. You starred as the werewolf. That's correct. I was the American that got stuck in prison, bit by the werewolf, becomes a werewolf, and takes them all out. And that's when I first met you with Girls and Corpses, and yeah. we actually did an ad for a uh, I still have it. <laughs> for a cream that would remove hair because you had a very large um, werewolf bush. Yes, yes. Red bush. A red bush that we photographed, and yeah. when you use this removal cream, you'll find that this shit really works. Quoted by Victoria Demar, yeah. star of Werewolf in a Women's Prison. It'll and get rid of your bush every time. And I distinctly remember we had we had recently met, and we were at your at that time your boyfriend's apartment. <laughs> And I was on my hands and knees applying a large merkin, and a merkin is a hairy bush. And then you put your underwear over it, and I kept waiting for him to walk in and, and shoot me in the head. Because you were like down there getting around. We, had a, we got a really good shot of it, though. We got a really good shot. It was wonderful in the magazine. Yes, I, I still have it. The bush or the, the boyfriend? <laughs> no, the bush. <laughs> still have the bush. We'll show that one more drink, and we're going to show it to you. Now, <laughs> tell me about... I'm coughing a lot. I don't know why. And then we did, we did, we did Jesus as well. I was, mm. the, I was the only Jesus in your. You movie. were Jesus in girls. Instead of Jesus, you were the female Jesus. Jesus. With Jesus, the, the the ad was what if dot 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 Jesus, and then it was yeah. me. Your Jesus. I was the only Jesus in Girls and Corpses magazine. That's correct, and we got a lot of uh, uh, mail from uh, the religious <laughs> right. Uh, and what's interesting about it was how offended people were that uh, that a woman would be Jesus. <laughs> That really pissed people off. That was the thing. It wasn't. It wasn't. You know, the cross. The outfit. And no. The loin thing and the. It was blood disgusting for people. No, it was the fact that I was a woman. Yeah. At one point, we did have a little tampon string hanging down, but that was a shot. Yeah, Never mind. It's a I long know. story. And and the only people that really knew what that was. Was you and I. Was that? Was that? So it was All right. Was now the special. the first movie, the werewolf movie, huge success, did really well, and led to Dracula in a Woman's Prison. Yes. And uh, moi, Corpsey, plays, plays Dracula. And you play, tell us about your part in Dracula and the Woman's Prison. Well, I play both sisters. There's a sister that goes to the prison to investigate what's going down, and then she gets abducted into the prison. And then there's the sister of hers that finds out and goes to find out what happened to her sister, and then she gets stuck in the prison. And That's not too confusing. Out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's craziness. But basically, Dracula consumes both of them. You get both sisters. Yeah, I get some. I get some action. Dracula, oh, yeah. Dracula does well in this one, and you have some pretty sexy women in this film. Puma Sweet, or oh, Puma Sweet is in it. Oh my God, uh, Tasha Dacosa is in it. Dacosa. Rachel Riley. Yeah. Oh my God. And there's a lot of lesbian sex going on too. Oh, uh, there's a lot. I mean, in a women's prison movie, I mean, you gotta have you gotta have the gore, you gotta have the hot babes, and you gotta have the lesbian sex. I mean, you just, I mean, that's what the viewers are looking for. That's what the fans are tuning in for. So you gotta have it. They're speeding up pretty much through the movie to get to the lesbian sex scenes, probably. <laughs> pretty much, and we had to add. We we added a lesbian scene with, with gin and tonic, myself and Puma Swede in Frankenstein in a women's prison because there wasn't enough lesbian love. So we had to throw in. We had to throw in there. Yeah. So going to the third, the Frankenstein in a woman's prison, right. what do you play in that one? Um, I play, I, I'm in it again, not as the American or not as the monster. I'm one of the crew of the two ghost chasers that are going to the prison to investigate the, the fact that it's being possessed by ghosts and that it's not vampires or werewolves or monsters. Uh, but indeed it is. And, and I actually get killed in this one, which is great because the other two, I, I survived. survived. To the, well, the first one I was killed, but at the end. The second one, you know, it's confusing because initially we were going to do a sequel, but then we decided, oh, I talked about it for a while, and then the follow-up was a better idea. 
to, to do the Dracula, to do the Frankenstein. It was just better. It's just a better idea. Well, it's a great trilogy, and and actually, we see your breasts in all three movies, as I recall. Yes, and actually, initially in Frankenstein, I wasn't getting naked, and I said to Jeff, "What? What's? Are you mad at me? Like I, I was? I felt so offended." He said, "Oh, I was, I was going to spare you from it this this time around." And I was like, "What? You hurt my feelings. Like I thought you were mad at me. Like I feel I feel really out of place to be in a Jeff Leroy movie and a a women's prison genre is like becoming like my genre now. Like right. I'm like I like all that shit. So for me not to have a love scene or not to get topless felt really weird and I didn't want to disappoint the fans because they would all be like what the where's your tits what, what? Uh, Victoria didn't get naked all oh, this this shit sucks I'm turning it off so he added some hot sex love making scenes just for and me. actually I think you're in a scene with my friend Diana Terranova is did you have a crazy love scene with her maybe no you don't remember <laughs> I could have been I mean I was oh maybe was... not maybe that's a different <laughs> it was a different dream I had um, now, you've had an illustrious career. You've done a lot of movies. Uh, give me a couple of high points of what you think. You were in Killjoy. Yeah, well, I think um, I'm best known for playing Batty Boop, the sexy succubus from the Killjoy series. She's uh, Killjoy's girlfriend that comes in in number three, four, and we're getting ready to do five. That was a lot of fun. You were in all five, obviously. Uh, no, I was not in one and two. I came into the story in three. I'm in four, and I'm in five. And now there's a talk about doing a Batty Boot movie to do a spinoff from the Killjoy series they're not going to do anymore. So, like, what character are we going to do? Oh, okay, we're going to do Batty Boop. And then fans are kind of going crazy for that. So that's a possibility. So you're really one of the few remaining scream queens in a way. I mean, it's it's they're dying off, literally, in yeah. every horror film. Yeah. Um, I'm still hanging on. I'm still hanging on. <laughs> uh, what's your next? What's your next project? Uh, I have another horror film called Crave coming up that I start tomorrow, bright and early. Um, following that, I have another horror film. Uh, it's an action comedy horror called Grizzled that's coming up after that. And then Grizzle uh, is that like getting hunks of fat in your in your meat? No, there's like a psychotic bear that goes crazy in this camp and oh, becomes Grizzle. demonic. Okay. And then the and I'm one of the rangers that saves the day and takes them out. But I'm like this oddball ranger, so that'll be fun. Sounds like a beautifully constructed film. Yes. Do you have a website that people can look at and, and ogle you? I do. ScreamQueenDamar.com. D-E-M-A-R-E, correct? That's correct. How about your Twitter? Oh, yeah. I'm on Twitter as Victoria Damar. I'm on Facebook. I have like four Facebook pages uh, plus a people page. I, I try and accept all fans as friends, so be cool and I'll accept you. And if you uh, Google a Victoria Damar boobs, I'm sure you'll have some great stuff. <laughs>